everyone, my name is Janika. And I don't know what that sound is, but welcome to this video. I am currently in a little town called Santa Catalina that is located on the Pacific coast of Panama. And this is a little beach town that is famous for being a popular place where to surf, for example. And another reason why it's popular is because it's located next to the famous Coiba Island National Park, that is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And Coiba Island itself is famous for its wildlife, beautiful beaches, and for having some great spots for where to snorkel and go scuba diving. So far, this town seems really nice. It has a super... I don't know, is that a bird? So far Santa Catalina seems really nice, it has a super relaxed and laid back vibe to it. Like walking around you just kind of feel lazy, like that's, like that's the vibe you get, that you just want to take it easy and be a bit lazy and yeah, it's a very relaxed atmosphere which I really like. In order to get to Santa Catalina we first took a bus from Panama City to a town called Sona and this costed us $10. After this we then were supposed to take another bus that would have costed five dollars but when we arrived to sauna we would have had to wait for almost two hours for the next bus so instead we met up with some other travelers that were also on their way here and we ended up splitting a taxi which then costed us ten dollars per person so it was a bit more expensive but we did save quite a lot of time by doing that I know what you might be thinking, mushroom pasta with green peas? I was also kind of confused about this portion, but it was good, although it would have been better without the green peas, I must say. This is Niels. <laughs> we met back in Salento and ever since we've always been bumping into each other a bit here and there. <laughs> we just got our food, looks good. Good morning. <laughs> Now we're heading to a beach which is supposed to be really nice for surfing. I'm not gonna be surfing today even though I have surfed before but I'm doing something tomorrow that's a bit more expensive so I need to save my money a bit for that but the boys are going surfing and I'm gonna join them to the beach. The beach is like a 20-ish minute walk from where our accommodation is and yeah I'm looking forward to having a nice chill beach day today.
the guys have just started their one hour long surf lesson so that's very exciting for them yeah i kind of wish i could have done that too so tomorrow i am going diving i'm gonna go for two or three dives and as you might know diving is not very cheap honestly i'm kind of just enjoying chilling at the beach watching the guys go surfing and watching everyone else who's here surfing and i think i'm gonna go for a swim and i don't mind taking it a bit more easy and then tomorrow i have the more adventurous day ahead of me it's a nice little well not little it's a nice big beach <laughs> so warm it's crazy it's not cold at all <laughs> <laughs> That's more difficult. Yeah. It's a very exciting day because today I'm going scuba diving. I do have a scuba diving license but I haven't dived since 2019 so it's been a while so I'm gonna be doing like a refreshment course today. I would be lying if I would say I'm not feeling a little bit nervous. I don't know like I've never had any bad experience or anything but it's just because I haven't done it in so a long time. I'm overthinking it a little bit and feeling a bit giddy. I'm sure it'll go well and uh, I'll bring my action camera with me so then I can also film from our trip. So actually we are staying in a dive center. We have rented a room here. They have Airbnb. Thank you to my friends Nicole and Delia. They gave us this Airbnb gift card and we were able to pay for this Airbnb with that gift card. So Thank you very much. Or we were able to pay partially, so we ended up not having to pay much at all, which is really nice. But yeah, I really just need to step out of our door and I'll already be at the diving center. I need to tie my hair and get going. And so the scuba diving adventure to Koipa Island begun. The journey with the speedboat took over an hour to get there, but on the way we got to enjoy some beautiful views and even spotted a few dolphins. nervousness I had before the dive immediately vanished once I got under the surface. I got reminded of why I love diving so much and how beautiful the underwater world is. There is just something so special and peaceful about it.
After our first dive, we got to set foot on the island itself and had a bit of a fruit and hydration break. For the second dive, I only had one really big wish and that was to see some sharks as this area is really famous for having a lot of sharks and no, don't worry, I'm not talking now about big and dangerous sharks, I'm talking about smaller ones that are completely harmless. Then it was time to head back to Santa Catalina, but this time we had a different boat driver and I think he was a little bit loco. 